Hey y'all, it's Michael, and so I am going to do a vlog review on The Broom of the System by David Foster Wallace. I purchased this copy of this book um, a while back, like last year, uh, at Acapella Books, which is this bookstore in Atlanta, and I never, never actually gotten around to reading it. I don't really know what this is about. I purchased this because David Foster Wallace, his most famous novel is probably um, Infinite Jest, which I haven't gotten around to also, so I thought I would start with a much shorter <laughs> novel because the other one is like a thousand pages. It is one of um, Penguin's orange edition when they released it a few years back and this is such a beautiful edition. It has the French flap, it has deckled edges. The actual look of the book itself is just really cool. Like this orange thing, I don't know what all of these, if these have any significance what's going on but I did start start on it. I'm on page 12 so I didn't really start on it at the bookstore just to like see what was gonna happen um, and so far it's really interesting. I, I can't give you a <laughs> I don't really know what it's about yet. All right, so I thought I would give y'all my first thoughts of The Broom of the System by David Foster Wallace. I am on page 159. Now, usually what I do with this is I give you my first impression, then in the middle, and then at the end, like my overall thoughts. But I think with this video in particular, I want to give my thoughts now and then the next clip will be my final thoughts. Um, so I'm not going to do like in the middle sort of thing. This is really complicated in the sense that I don't really know what's going on. Um, so yeah, what I think. So this is what I am thinking right now and versus what, what the final conclusion is or if it's definite at all. But what I think this book is about, so there's one definite thing. This book is, our main character is Lenore. See, here's the weird thing. This uses a lot of weird words and I think that's in conjunction of what I think the story is about because it seems, so it's about Lenore who works at this, um, it's like a phone operator, uh, which is weird because it's the 1990s and I was like, was it that? Was it that a while back? There's like several things going on. The first thing is like her grandma um, is missing from the home that she's staying at. And then there seems to be a story also involving her lover, um, Vigorous. So there's that. <laughs> and there's also like a situation with uh, the company that her family owns, which is um, like her main, the main competitor to Gerber's food company. I don't know what Wallace is saying, but he uses a lot of weird words and is this like play on words. And that's what I'm loving so much about it. The writing style, oh my gosh, it, it has this fun essence of like wordplay. Like the wordplay is so good. You would think they would be called or um, like the, the way the companies are named, the way that things are like the, the writing style also changes. Like sometimes it just be um, just dialogue with no descriptions going on, or sometimes it just be like just without even saying who's who, just a dialogue between like a conversation between two characters. And there's like some letters and things. So it seems like this Wallace is playing around with like words and like word style and like writing style and language. And that is like a shot to my heart because I love, I love that style and that like. And it's so bold. I love it when authors attempt this because it just seems like something that's just really like, and like so ambitious. This is similar to like other books that I encountered this year. While I'm not exactly sure what's going on, I am getting the gist and I'm getting like, I'm on the road still. Like I'm not weavering, like I'm not falling out. Like I'm, on, I'm not on the sidewalk. I am still on the path, which if anything, that's a great thing for an um, author to do is that while I might not be getting everything 100% I am still able to keep track and that's a great reason to like reread also that's why it's so great to reread because I would love to revisit this even though I'm not even halfway through it I could see myself wanting to revisit this like again like years later on maybe like next year or like two years from now to just to reread it again and see what I missed but so far right now I am loving it. It's just, it's just like fun. It's really fun. I finished The Broom of the System by David Foster Wallace yesterday, so I thought I would give y'all my final thoughts of the book. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this. In relation to the previous clip, I finally know what this is about. Okay, I think I'm really glad that I am giving y'all my final thoughts about this really towards the end because the last sentence of this actually, like, I was like, whoa, because it, it was it was like, whoa! I'm really excited to tackle um, Infinite Jest. Hopefully I'll get to it this year. Actually, I was correct in the previous clip of what the story's about, but that's actually like the surface level of what this is. I'm a dedicated booktuber. I am going to finish this while it's raining right now. Okay, so here we go. This plays with is really the structure and language of a 
of a novel. Um, you see this a lot, actually, in a lot of um, modern, postmodern novels. Um, and I thought this was really cool. I love that's that's probably my favorite aspect of this. Is I just love that the funness and like the playfulness of how Wallace is able to play around with all of these different structures and different phrases. I love the parts where he would intentionally misspell a word. I thought that was so like funny. And there's a word in here that's like very similar to the word poof, which made me laugh. I thought that was hilarious. And the way that um, each character has a different um, has like a different way of talking and the way it's presented to the reader. I thought that was really cool. And that ties back to, especially at the end of this, the, the last, the, literally the last sentence. Reading experience wise, I thought it was really fun because these are the type of novel, this is the type of novel that I really enjoy because it's like quirky and just like weird and bizarre. Like there were things in here. Relationship to the way that um, Wallace is playing with words, they were really funny. Like the situation with the Gerber, I thought that was so hilarious. And like this, this baby patent, this patent, food thing that like the rivals are going against. Now Lenore was, I thought was a really interesting character because it seemed as though there were parts in here where Wallace used Lenore to break the fourth wall and give insight to the reader. Parts where like Rick is telling the story and then it's like also coinciding with what was happening but then also the way that the reader is feeling while reading that story and like these just these layers that I thought was so I thought it was so smart. I was like, whoa, this is really well. The commentary that he was making, especially the way that um, a reader is like supposed to feel while reading the story, I thought that was so cool. And I, I just really enjoyed it. Overall, I thought it was really fun. Um, the thing is that there is a part in here, I think like in more in the middle per se, um, it, it ends a little bit of a lull. And I think it's also for me personally, um, and I don't think it's a bash or anything against the book itself, but there are parts in here, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really understand. Um, like, I just completely didn't understand, and I'm not afraid to say that, but I thought, if anything, that is like more of a insight and more of a like a want to read it a second time, because then it'll bring more um, insight to the story. So I thought that was really bad. This thing about like black people, it was really awkward, and it was almost, um, it, it was unforgivable. I was just like, okay I, I didn't understand that part i was like i don't get this but i didn't know if it was some sort of commentary or whatnot but that part to me um that's like a perfect example that that one flew definitely over my head like it really flew over my head i was like um i don't like it it's like yeah I don't, this is weird i thought it was also really smart how wallace is able to portray these things in the real world by using things like in this book that just like seem so obscure like Vlad how he talks about religion and how like people believe in religion and Christian television I thought that part was really funny especially um like call this number now to go to give this number to Jesus I thought I was like oh this is this is definitely making a commentary and I, yeah overall I had a really great experience reading it like just the experience itself reading it but also just the context I thought it was so much fun um yeah so if you read this novel let me know what you think about it I would love to hear your thoughts uh so yeah until then I'll see you on the next one that I'm most probably going to read from Wallace, which is Infinite Jest. So yeah, I'll see you till then. Bye!